My mom died when I was very little. And after that, my father remarried this alcoholic stepmother who was extremely abusive. My father died when I was 16, and I was abducted, captive of a man who beat me for seven months and left me locked in his apartment. And I ended up in a mental institution. I went from there to marrying and having three wonderful children. After 10 years of marriage, I decided abuse was also verbal, not just physical. And my family didn't deserve that. So I left him. I had a stroke in March of 99, and I had another stroke in April of 2000. She was a profile in courage. She came from a place that was very dark. But she had this wonderful spirit, and, and she had a real strong desire not to be dependent on public funding and to create a life for herself. When Victoria first started in the vocational evaluation program, we started with some paper pencil testing. We took a look at her current academic skills, her aptitudes, her interests, her values. Tried to clarify, at least on paper, what might be some good vocational options for her. After the evaluation, I did go out and I did put in about 80 different applications in different places, from retail to uh, convenience stores to um, in-home care. Um, and my real response to that was, I'm sorry, we really don't have a place for you. We started having her do some job coaching in our, in our um, vocational support services program. She was really quite um, a motivator because she was able to express her own life in ways that were meaningful to people who were struggling and, and was able to motivate them through her own experience. Victoria helped me actually get um, the job here. She saw that um, I was real good with the apparel. What is this one in front? She saw like a, an inner strength in me that I didn't think I had. When Victoria would go and work with a participant, you could see that participant smile on their face, um, maybe a little clapping if they were nonverbal, um, getting the excitement with their body language. Um, other individuals that were able to speak would ask, am I going to work with Victoria today? <laughs> good, how are you? So good to see you. Victoria was the best thing that could have happened to me. I had been off of work like 10 years. I walked in these doors, scared, unsure, no confidence. She helped me with that. Very glad I still have my opportunity. Other people's success through me has been the greatest accomplishment that I could ever do because they really go on and blossom, and I only just gave them little seeds. She's always so optimistic, and she's not afraid to really try to pick people up when they're down, because that's what she needed for a period of time. She's been gradually working her way up in the organization. She started as a job coach, and then she became a program trainer at the store level. And now she's an associate team leader in the store in Oshkosh, and just doing a wonderful job. I want to thank you guys ahead of time for the absolutely awesome day we're going to have. Um, you are the best. Remember that. When I see Victoria, the first thing I, I wonder is um, what words of encouragement is she going to give even me this morning, you know? How is she going to get me going? Because that's what she does, and that's what she's great at. The morning meeting is my favorite part of the day. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. All right, sales for yesterday. It is a time where everyone finds out how well we're doing, what other stores are doing, and it is my duty as an assistant team leader to let every person in that store know they're valued. What do you do when you're out there? Smile! She's kind of like the little cheerleader. She's not afraid to even dance around a little bit. Valued at the store. Just get people going and they can actually enjoy where they work. I love her and um, I wouldn't wish for another other mom. And I appreciate how she raised me. 
My family is extremely important to me. There's no two ways about it. She loves her granddaughters very much. She has them down here as often as she can. We cook, and they love to cook with me. They're so wonderful. We also plant flowers, play at the park, read. Victoria has come from being a very shy, unsure person, and she's grown into becoming a very, very independent, positive, motivated individual that really cares so much about others and wants to help others. And in the back. Boy, Victoria, you have really made something out of yourself. You believed in yourself and you went forward. Just keep going. Keep going for your dreams, Victoria. Winning an award nationally is big. Um, what does it mean to me? It means I did something right somewhere along the way. Excellent, Julie. You do this well. I know you said you didn't, but you do. It is a chance for me to tell people how great we can be. It is an opportunity for me to stand in front of someone and tell them that they can do it and they can be it if only they want it. I don't always get to see you when I come here and I miss you and then they say that you love. <laughs> yeah, no. oh. But most of all, I am so blessed and I'm so thankful that someone thought my story was remarkable.